Namaste beautiful yogis, today I'm sharing with you my favorite sunblocks and my favorite natural sunblocks. Uh, I really wanted to share this with you before I give birth because <laughs> after that I don't know when I'll be able to shoot it and I have some really important sunblocks to share with you. Now um, I have my box here, I'm looking down at my box, I have my little box prepared with a few options and a few things that support sunblocks. Um, so I have a few sunblocks and a few oils and such and serums. <clears throat> and uh, the reason why I really wanted to share this with you is because summer is coming and uh, you know, on TV and in the media, you keep hearing how important it is to protect your skin, important for preventing cancer and so forth. And that is not always, you know, how things work. Sometimes uh, you can do more harm than good um, by putting toxic ingredients in your uh, on your skin. Now, um, they did a study uh, and they found out that 75% of the sunscreens on the market are very toxic to your skin. A lot of them have um, um, endocrine disruptive um, ingredients in them, so they can potentially disrupt your endocrine system. Actually, the leading uh, sunblocks, Neutrogena and some other companies use oxybenzone in them. Uh, which is a known endocrine disruptor, causes endometriosis in women and low sperm count in men. So it's definitely not something you want to be putting on your skin. Not only that, but also if you just are putting um, to toxic ingredients into your skin, they of course end up into your blood screen, uh, 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 bloodstream and they can disrupt many processes in your system besides your, uh, they can disrupt your endocrine system, they can uh, damage your liver and so forth. But even worse so is they can react with the sun uh, on your skin and actually have potentially damaging effect and cancer causing effect on your skin. The, the very ingredients that are suppo supposed to prevent you from that. So we have to be putting good stuff on our skin and I have awesome stuff um, to uh, recommend to you. Some of the ingredients in most uh, sunscreens are um, causing allergies and uh, skin rashes, skin allergies and so forth. So again, you don't want to put any of those chemicals. You want to stick to the sunblocks that are predominantly with zinc oxide and if it's not nanoparticles it's even better although most of it is nano even if it doesn't say that so um, it, it is relatively safe it is very effective and um, one thing to always remember is that sunscreens are not proven to decrease the chances of uh, skin cancer they can decrease your sunburn and the reason why I personally use them is I only use them on my face and a little bit on my neck so that I can prevent wrinkles because they do help. Uh, I personally, that's my personal opinion, don't believe that they prevent from skin cancer because cancer is a very complex disease that is not just you sitting in the sun and something from outside you causing it. It's a very internal process that starts from from the inside out. So we always have to eat right, eat a lot of colorful produce that has some protective properties, that has cancer protective properties, and that is your best line of defense. Tons of water, tons of say blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, pumpkins, um, carrots, um, juicing uh, certain um, uh, colored ingredients like kale and beets. Those things are always going to protect your skin. Mm. But you know, I live in a very sunny place, so I've come to the I've come to the agreement that I have to wear sunscreen, even though you know it's not the best thing ever. Um, so I have the best one to recommend to you, and it is this one, uh, Badger. I think it was rated the best one in a lot of like the natural reviews. It's SPF 25 and it's uh, just based on zinc oxide. So that's awesome. Uh, so it's a mineral sunscreen, which means it actually pr uh, uh, provides you with physical barrier. 
to the sun so it creates a coat on your skin that's a physical barrier not something that sinks into your skin the chemical ones it's um non-nano non-gmo non-comedogenic and hypoallergenic the cool stuff about it is that it's sheer tint so it's slightly tinted in a really pleasant way it doesn't change your skin color but it does kind of give you a tiny bit of a sheer uh, sheer, sheer cover just a tiny bit I'm wearing it at the moment and it's it I should have I, I will do an experiment and wear it on one side and uh, photograph the other side photograph both sides to just show that it's it doesn't it it just offers a really nice beautiful color and it's a uh, uh, it has uh, ro rose and calendula extracts in it and lavender and pomegranate seed oil and a bunch of uh, really cool ingredients like elderberry. So now that's another thing is when you wear sunblock, even zinc oxide um, can oxidize your skin while, when you expose it to sun and that can cause skin oxidation. But your own antioxidants in your skin from your diet they can neutralize that and it won't affect you so this one has antioxidants added to it so basically it will not affect your skin it will not oxidize the zinc oxide won't oxidize uh, in the sun because it's already uh, coming in a combination with a lot of uh, antioxidants now before you put the sunscreen on always 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 put some um, serums under because um, Serums just uh, are antioxidants that are in a concentrated form and they protect your skin uh, and they have their own added benefits as sun protection because they boost your own skin's sun protective properties, your own SPF from within. Um, and I will recommend a few vitamin C serums and I will link them below uh, from Amazon. Those guys are on Amazon. Vitamin C serum from Vinalta. It's with hyaluronic acid and it's fabulous. Um, natural nourishing organic everything I'm um, discussing is vegan as usual another vitamin C serum I usually have a couple of vitamin C serums is nature's gate see for yourself this one is pretty strong um, meaning it, it is a high concentration of vitamin C Derma E has some good serums you can get any of their serums hyaluronic acid serum vitamin E serum they're all good and this one I've talked about it before it's the Aussie Naturals because it comes with uh, I totally recommend this one because it comes with astaxanthin, vitamin E, rose hips, green tea, hyaluronic acid and it has 20% uh, vitamin C so it's Aussie Naturals and I'll link, I'll link uh, exactly their company below because this one is probably my number one choice for uh, vitamin C serum, vitamin C also increases the SPF natural properties of your own skin so always line up your skin with vitamin C before um, before your sunblocks I have a couple more sunblocks for you though <laughs> um, now another thing that you can do at night because it has a little bit of color is I've already talked about it in my previous skincare videos but it's the uh, Radam I'll link it below on Amazon that's where I get it from it's uh, the Rada Rose Hip Oil and um, they, uh, I think they have an ongoing special if you get a second bottle from the same company. I got Argan. It comes with a $4 off uh, uh, coupon so it's, it ends up being probably I think $10 per bottle or less for uh, each bottle which is awesome because I really really love this particular Rose Hip Oil. It's real dark. It's real bright orange. Now, my next recommendation for sunblock, I had prepared more, but these are the ones that made the cut, so I guess I will stick with the ones that made the cut, otherwise I have a few more sunblocks. The next one that I really recommend uh, as a sunblock, I've mentioned it before, uh, if the, uh, this photo is done, but it's the Beauty Balm BB Cream. Um, I'm double multitasking, I'm stretching my hips as I talk, so I'm sitting on the floor and doing double pigeon. Uh, but it's the Andalo uh, BB Cream, uh, sheer tint, SPF 30, it's again based on zinc oxide only, 20% zinc oxide, 
really cool ingredients because uh, they base their line on uh, fruit stem cells vegan company from california actually i i wanna it's from Novato, california so it's uh, close to LA so it's a local company it has all the cruelty free and vegan logos on the back and uh, it is gluten free totally recommend it it has the most beautiful uh, tint uh, mine is the brightening one and it's a sheer tint yes I totally love it. It, it it is a fabulous product I, it's a tie between the badger and this one I think the badger has some amazing added ingredients added to it so that's why it's i'm so excited about it um it has obviously a base of aloe and it has a lot of rose extracts rose hip uh chamomile uh essentials and such things so it's really really good for your skin again cruelty free vegan and so forth so totally love it uh, now um this one is a little heavier on the sunblocks uh, I think it has 4% um, of a chemical sunblock added to it, but it's still pretty clean. It's um, the Andalo Age Defying Unscented DIY Booster. Again, it's mostly based on zinc oxide and it's um, it has no color. So that one you can um, use it with makeup and with your powder and so forth or you can add your uh, sunscreen uh, serums to it because it's just a DIY booster um, SPF 30 again from Andalou. Um <clears throat> Now if you get um, if you get crazy and want to go uh, a little um, even more natural uh, this one is amazing, uh, frankincense, you can add organic, therapeutic grade frankincense oil to your um, cream when you're applying it and it has obviously skin protective properties and skin fortifying properties, it basically strengthens your skin and it protects it from damage, so frankincense is always good, it's all, all, also very good for your brain so as you're applying it, you're boosting your brain power. And another one, especially after you get a sunburn, is helichrysum. It, um, it has um, healing properties on the skin, antibacterial. Uh, it can heal cuts, abrasions, uh, sunburn, uh, and so forth. And it is a very, very protective oil for your skin. Good to have around. So you can add those two to your regime. And one more thing that I've been loving is I use the Arnica rub for any mu uh, muscle pain that I have or ligament uh, injury, joint injury. Now they have a new to me product. It's the Calendula rub, which is for skin condition, uh, sunburn, insect bites, um, uh, cuts, uh, burns and so forth and I've used it on all of those things because I'm pretty active and I, I tend to cut my skin recently I got bitten by um, something uh, maybe fleas or something on both my legs and it was very itchy so I put this only on one of my legs and that one he that side healed amazingly and I didn't have any I didn't feel any itchy anything the other side didn't heal so quickly it lasted for three four five more days and it was it looked pretty nasty uh, so I've tested it and it's uh, I, I use it quite a bit because it's for inflammation minor cuts insect bites rashes sunburn and I would assume you can use it the way you use calendula uh, calendula is for just skin irritation, eczema, psoriasis and so forth. It is homeopathic, uh, so uh, it, it has a different mechanism of healing your skin. It makes your own skin heal, but it's amazing. And last thing, so I'm doing, this video is quite a quick video. Last thing is um, Laranin. Now, if you are using uh, powders, uh, highlighters, blushes, I love Laranin, uh, you can use it, this one is Superstition Highlighter, um, you can use this because it pro uh, pro uh, provides an added uh, 
physical barrier from sunlight so it has a little bit of added sunblock uh, properties to it I'll link the company below because they have so many colors uh, any blush you buy by them you won't regret it they're gorgeous um, the colors are just gorgeous and they're just based on minerals it's a mineral uh, powder so you're basically if you're using really nice sunblock use a good powder over if you're using powder so that you're not negating the benefits of the sunblock and i think that's it i'll link everything below i might even if i have time i might write it in a blog on my website and i might try to include photos we'll see one more thing this company uh definitely everything i buy i always get on skin deep the environmental workings protection group um, that's a website that rates the toxicity of products. I always check everything on there and I read ingredients. Uh, I'm uh, my partner doesn't want to go anywhere with me because he knows we're going to be in an ingredients reading a vortex. Uh, but I always read ingredients. This company is, uh, don't buy uh, just everything, buy them. Uh, but um, this is highly recommended for surfers for hair it has a little bit of sun protective properties for your hair it's three in one living um, uh, product by sun bum it smells like the old school surfer boards like horse has uh, some blocks is like banana coconut uh, aroma so it smells pretty good it's paraben free definitely never buy anything with parabens in it dye free color safe cruelty free uv protecting so that's uv protection for the surfers or for people that swim a lot um uh it's uh do not uh, i would not recommend this company's sunblocks for the skin because they have uh, chemicals added to them like oxybenzone methoxycinamide and other ones that are uh, chemical and toxic to your skin um this one is for the hair and peop uh, surfers swear by it because it makes their hair uh, tangle free and protected from the sun and beautiful so that's an added one for those of you that swim and uh, need some uh, protection for their hair and i think that's it i have quite a few more sun blogs but i wanted to really 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 brag about the badger and the andalone or talk about them and recommend them highly and i'll see you with some other skin video probably in a few months or a month or so uh, however i discover things i'll share them with you um and uh, if you have any questions let me know i will try to list the, this on my website thanks for watching and i'll see you soon namaste